What's up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript coding tutorial. Today in this video I'm going to talk about how to use Jasmine, which is a testing suite to write unit tests for your JavaScript code. Uh, we're, we're just going to set up a very basic uh, calculator example. Uh, so in order to do this we need to import uh, Jasmine, the suite. So we're just going to use the CDNs. So I'm going to copy and paste this here. What this is going to give me, this is going to give me three scripts this is going to give me the um, jasmine testing uh, it looks like jasmine html which is going to render this give me the options and uh, this boot not sure what that exactly does I think we'll take that out yeah I think it needs all three to work but um, so the way we're going to do this we're going to create a calculator in here and we're going to say var calculator is equal to a function and on this calculator we're going to have some methods so this is the revealing module pattern where we sort of have everything exposed as a public API so you can sort of interface with it and see what it does so we're just going to have four functions we're going to have add it's going to be a function which takes in a and b this returns a and b very simple guys not complex subtract it's going to be a function takes in a and b just going to back up real quick going to return a minus b. Um, we're going to have a multiply. It's a function which takes in a and b. It's just going to return a times b. And we're going to have finally our last uh, function is going to be uh, divide. The function takes in a and b. And this is going to return a divided by b. Sorry about that. And so not saying no spec found, no, no specs found, which just means we haven't created any tests. So when we're using Jasmine, we're going to create um, what's called a describe block. And I really haven't done too much unit testing, but it's really easy to pick up. So first thing we'll do is say describe and what we want to call it. So we're going to call it calculator suite. So the first parameter is the name of your suite that you're going to test. You're going to run your unit test in. And the second parameter is a callback function, so it's just going to be a function. And then inside of here, we're going to write our test. So we see we have our calculator suite right here. It's not doing anything, obviously. Uh, so the way we write our methods, we're going to do. Uh, we'll just create a new instance of our calculator. We're going to say var calculator equals new calculator. So now we have our calculator, and we can say it adds to uh, it adds it okay it should add two numbers together and then second parameter is a callback function and we will do expect calculator dot add five and five and then I think it's two equal ten so we're just testing it out right here uh, should add, let's see, what error are we getting? Two equal, I think it's 2B, sorry. 2B. Let me make sure this is working. Calculator. 2B, calculator dot add. Uh, two, let me look it up really quickly. Um... One second, guys. Let me see. To be. Where can I find this? Let's see. Jasmine testing. I thought it was. 1.3, 2.4. Expect to be. Expect to be. I think it's. I thought it was to be. Oh, to equal. Or a expect a to equal. Let me see. So what do we have? We have expect calculator dot add. Do we need another one here. Unexpected token. Let's see. Okay, cool. I guess it our test pass right there. So let's change this to twelve. Fails. Expect it tend to be twelve. So that's the way you do it, guys. You you can we could make a new instance of our calculator. 
and we can test the functionality of it here in this in this suite. So we have our describe, and then we have our it blocks. So let's move on, and let's test the rest of our methods. So it should subtract two numbers. Function, so our callback should say expect calculator dot subtract uh, ten and five dot two b two b. So if we put six here and we run it, it should say expected five to be six. Then we change this to five. Our test passes. So let's implement the rest of our logic. So now we have multiply. Sort of same pattern here, guys. It should multiply two numbers together, a function, and then it should say expect calculator dot multiply ten and three dot uh, dot two b. So if we put twenty here, it should say thirty. So if we put thirty, it should pass. And then let's write one more unit test. So it should divide two numbers together function expect calculator dot divide a 10 and 5 to be so if we put 3 here right should say 2 so we'll have 2 awesome guys so all of our all of our specs work if we change this to 3 you can sort of look at um, you know, this is the spec that's failing. Uh, but if we change it to all of our tests pass, guys. So really cool. Um, very quick and uh, simple introduction to using Jasmine with a very simple example. But I thought you guys would enjoy it. I'm getting more into learning about unit testing, and I'd like to uh, sort of implement it at work, especially with Angular, trying to test services, controllers, and whatnot. But uh, let me know if you guys liked the video. I know someone uh, recently in the comments uh, asked, specifically about this and how you debug your JavaScript. I think unit testing is a great way to do this. Uh, it can get a little tedious, but I think there's a lot of importance in knowing how to test the behavior of your application. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for all the feedback. Have a great day.